Hey everyone, this is Jeff again with Starcat Products here to bring you part three of Painkiller Hell and Damnation. Today we're going to be taking on the third stage, the Atrium Complex. This the tarot card requirement for this level is to beat the stage in under seven minutes. So one card that's almost mandatory to do to have equipped on while playing this level is the fear card, which gives the enemies the 90% of their initial health value. This part's going to be divided into two different videos because there's no way in heck I can actually show you the speed run of this level and get all the commentary in at the same time and also I'm not going to be getting all the secrets when doing the speed run so pretty much you're gonna, the majority of the enemies on this stage are these monk guys they're pretty easy to kill they go down in one hit with the painkiller when you have the fear card on if you don't have the fear card on it takes two hits to take them down so pretty much the same thing applies if you want to get some extra gold from these enemies, you can air juggle them in the air like we're doing now. And the extra gold will fall after the fourth hit. The first secret is in this room. What you gotta do is you gotta go up the stairway and try to ride along the edge and bunny hop at least maybe three times or so. And then look, jump to the right and you can come through this door over here. This door is not open initially when you first start the section, you have to do the clearing first. Use the light trick to basically see the gold on the ground because the level is very, very dark. Try to keep your light on. So when you do your speed run, try to hit L almost right away because you're not going to have a good time otherwise to launch it. <clears throat> when you do your speed run, try to keep in mind these guys spawn in the corners. I believe that enemies spawn on the opposite corner that you cleared first. So you clear the right corner first. As you see, I went back to the right corner again and I took the enemies out there. You see one hit with the painkiller takes these guys out. Some more extra gold there. One thing to keep in mind too when you're doing the speed run is to not use your tarot cards. It actually slows you down and makes the enemy spawn slower. To get this area cleared out pretty quick, try to kill the barrels directly in front of you and to the left in the corner. Because they're the ones that are most likely to blow up in your face and get you killed. Use the double finger trick I told you guys to do in the other stage to launch the painkiller pretty quick. And the best way to clear this room out is to stand right here in this part, even though the enemies spawn like right in front of you, because they'll just blindly run at you. And you can clear them out pretty quick, especially if you keep spamming the secondary fire of the painkiller. There's one of the enemies getting stuck on the wall, and you keep hitting them to get the extra gold from them. So one thing to keep in mind with these barrels is try to be careful when you hit them with the painkiller. Try to hit them at an angle to push them away from you because you actually can pull them towards you if you're not careful. So yep, so this is the long run so we're going to be doing a lot of looking around the dark corners try to get this treasure chest. There's a lot of gold on this stage. It's a really good stage to farm for extra gold. One thing to keep in mind, you want to get all the gold for the level the, the enemies like to blow up the objects a lot, so you're going to miss have a good chance of missing a lot of the gold. So just try to keep an eye out, keep your light off, so the gold will keep illuminating on the ground. So yep, not a whole lot to talk about during this part, is looking for secrets. Not necessarily secrets, but the gold in the area. One gun that's almost practically useless on this stage is the state gun, as it attacks way too slow. I mean, if you're just doing a short, uh, like a long play like we're doing now, it's okay to use it. But when you're doing the, the speed run, there's no way in heck you can kill the enemies fast enough with it. So I believe one of the secrets is in this is in this area as well. It's near the top. We're going to be getting it here in a moment. Always keep in mind that you can turn your light off to see the gold a lot better on the ground because it does tend to blend into the, the, the floor pretty good when uh, you have your light on. It might just be the gamma settings on my machine, but I have a really hard time seeing the gold sometimes. I'll be in a firefight and I actually will see some of it lying randomly on the ground. It's like, hello. So yeah, so the first secret's over here. What you gotta do is you gotta get the stake gun out. The gun I just said it was useless and you gotta bomb this door using the secondary fire. And it'll blow open. I kept missing this secret. I couldn't figure out. I had to look it up. To figure out how to get it again. But that's the, the one secret I normally forget to get. It's like just a bunch of gold. I believe some freezer ammunition. Nope, just kidding. It's in another area. 
So yeah, just keep that light off and eliminate that goal to get it pretty quick. This level's really, really dark without the light on, as you can see. Alright, so I think we're finally done with this third room here. Well, let's keep in mind you can bunny hop to move quicker. There's a hole right here you can slip through to get out pretty quick. On to the fourth room. So, one thing to do in this room on your speed run is immediately go to the left here, pop this barrel, wait a second, there's a second one right behind it. And try to stay up here for the for vast majority of the clearing. The enemies will keep spawning at the bottom of the stairwell and also in the back over here. There's another punk ass secret up here that could kill you that we'll get beginning later. And you'll see it in the speedruns. I'm actually going to run over there pretty quick. But in this initial play, stage playthrough, we're not going to be running over there during the clearing. So again, you keep both your fingers on your mouse. You just hit the secondary fire and you can fire a lot quicker. You're going to be seeing the painkiller a whole lot on this stage during the speedrun because it's really the only weapon that I use because it, it takes these guys out so fast with the fear card on. And when you're doing your speedrun, do not even think about trying to air juggle the guys because you just do not have the time. You probably have about 20 seconds of give because uh, the fastest I can do is about 6 minutes and 40 seconds. And that's with like not, no messing around at all. A lot of times when you do the speed run on this particular area here, sometimes the enemies won't spawn. That's why it's best to stay up here because they'll keep them coming at you. You can keep clearing them out pretty quick. The music is awesome on this stage. It's one of my, my second favorite song in the game. As I stated before in some other parts, that my absolute favorite song is the Opera House stage. I love that Painkiller Black and I love the new song they gave the stage. We're getting really close to that stage actually. It's coming up in the next two videos, so I look forward to that. So those, those enemies make such weird noises when you kill them, I just don't get it. Doing your speed run, it, it, these guys can be really delayed at spawning, so again, try to stay near the top until almost the very end. There's gold littered all over this level, so just make sure you look in every corner. Here you can actually reflect the barrels back at you if you're not careful. I got lucky there and didn't do it, but I actually done it before when one flew at me. Luckily it was on Insomnia and it didn't kill me. The third secret is right here. There you go. This is a holy relic from underneath the stairwell. That That's a good reason right there to never run around while holding the primary fire of the cane killer. Because if you run into a barrel, you actually can blow yourself up pretty quick. Because all you gotta do is just hit it with the primary fire to painkiller and you'll blow up. So when you're doing your speedrun, there's an armor up there. Try to jump this area and get that armor in the middle of a jump. Here's the fourth secret. There's a barrel that actually comes out of this door and will kill you if you're anywhere near it. So try to back up. When I was first doing the speedrun, this stupid thing actually killed me and I got pretty mad. There's the wiver room that had the freezer ammunition in it. Any one of them did. Alright, so here, try to bunny hop. I didn't do it that time because this is the casual run, but try to bunny hop there and grab that armor while falling and then jump back into that main stairwell so you can keep killing the enemies pretty quick. I was just checking to make sure I got all the secrets there. So in this room, you can die pretty easily because there's a lot of explosive barrels everywhere. So the idea is to keep moving and try not to get near the walls or in the corners. Because I actually was playing multiplayer and I died in that corner where that big stack of barrels was at. Right there. I actually died to that. I got pretty mad. I was showing my friend how to play and I got myself blown up. So I'm trying to use the shotgun. I really do not like the shotgun in this game. It this feels really, really nerfed. I'm trying to give it a shot. I actually played Painkiller Black earlier today and the shotgun is just great. I look forward to playing that for you guys later on. So this clearing can be pretty long. When you're doing the speed run, try to stay in the middle and keep repeatedly firing the secondary fire of the painkiller because you can take these guys out pretty quick even if the axe guys this time they have that green vapor on their weapon and it doesn't hurt you this time it actually makes you almost stop in place but it's not that bad because if you stand in the middle of the room you can actually keep the enemies coming at you and you'll get hit by it yeah and but it doesn't really matter just a moment ago there was actually an explosive arrow right below my shotgun I don't know how I didn't die 
I got really lucky there. So try to be careful with these barrels. I didn't do it in this particular run, but it really does help to actually just get away from them and just blow them up in between the enemies spawning. I mean, you really can get yourself killed in this room pretty easily. Good old reliable, the soul taker, soul catcher. It's such a good weapon. When you play the older games, you, you really feel that how overpowered the gun is because all your other weapons actually have a purpose and in this game you can just pretty much use the soul catcher the whole time. I debate doing like a like a challenge run of this of one stage or this game maybe or only use the state gun. So that should be pretty fun. I gotta practice a whole lot with it. So yeah we're just doing the clearing. When you're doing the speed run part I'm gonna be staying in the middle a lot. I ride around around here because these guys can be really delayed in their spawn. So if you notice that the spawn stop kind of stops, try to stand near where this barrel is that I just shot, where that statue is, and wait for the enemies to come down the stairs. And again, use the painkiller because the painkiller will one shot all these enemies. You can maybe switch to the soul catcher if they're really far away because you will hit them quicker with that. But most of the time, almost through the entire stage, you can just use the painkiller. And do not use the painkiller combo, it, just, it will not, it will not attempt, kill the enemies fast enough. When doing your speed run, there is a barrel in front of the door. Try while you're doing the clearing to hit the barrel while you're doing the clearing. That way you won't waste any time having to wait for the barrel to blow up or anything. You can just keep fighting. So we're going to get the rest of the gold. There's gold all over this room, all around it. There's another armor in here as well, I believe. So we're almost done with this stage. It's a pretty quick stage. They kind of made it to be quick. So when you do a long run, it should be about 15-20 minutes. When you do the speed run, again, you got to beat it in under 7 minutes. And the card you get is the Soul Keeper card, which allows the souls to stay on the field a lot longer. Like, I'm significantly longer. To the point where, like, you can do, like, a whole clearing almost and come back and go, Oh, yeah, there's some souls here. Somehow a piece of gold got like got stuck in between a column, I, th I think, over here. And I was like, hey, look, a piece of gold. So we'll, we'll see it here in a second. Not that one. That's another one. See, as you can see it illuminated over there because my light's off. I'm like, how the heck did that get there? So I got it, fell off. Gotta walk back up, man. That would have been disastrous if I was doing a speed run. Alright, so here is the last room. We're gonna be using the tarot cards again. I mean, again, when you're doing the speed run, though, do not use the tarot cards. It will slow you down. The enemies do not spawn as quickly. So we're going to completely destroy these guys. I only really like using the shotgun when I activate my tarot cards. Because on bosses, it can waste them pretty quick. And it doesn't drain ammo like crazy like the minigun does. So that's just my opinion. So every time I use my tarot, I always try to use the shotgun. Cause it, it gives me a chance to walk up on them, hit them. You can get some extra gold if you're really good at lifting them up while you're shooting them. I'm gonna show the freezer freezer shot there. I just always forget to use the freezer shot. I know I really should use it more, but again, I just do not like the shotgun in this one. I, I'll use it a lot more in Painkiller Black. It's actually really, really good. There we go, that's the end of the stage. So again, this is going to be divided in two parts. We're going to do a speed run after this. We're just going to blow through the level like way fast. So this was Jeff with Starcat Products, and I'll see you next time.